Hey everybody, 1223 here with a lantern update. Uh, this lantern is from a company that I had not mentioned yet in one of my videos. It is my first lantern from this company and I hope to obtain more that are in this good of shape and are possibly all parts matching like this. This is a Handlin Railroad Lantern made for the Missouri Pacific. Or in this case, on this lantern, it's marked Mopac. Uh, this lantern, as you can see, is painted, but uh, it is painted in the it is painted in the rare green paint. I was told that the paint is rare green. It is original because where it is coming off in some small places, it uh, does show bare metal. So I want to get to the detail of this thing. It's pretty. It's pretty good. I mean. For a handling lantern, there's nothing real too special about it. Uh, this lantern, there you go, now you can see the green paint a lot better. Uh, marked handling, St. Louis on the top, that's where it was made. Mopac on the side of the lid. Uh, it also marked, uh, hand, it's also marked St. Louis on the burner knob. I can't really tell what the rest of it is. The globe is etched Mopac on it, which is also pretty cool. So, opening this lantern up, I can get it here with one hand. I don't think I can. Nope. Hang on. Set you back down here for a minute. Man, a little hard. Ooh. All right, I got it. Uh, you can see it's also painted green on the inside. Uh, it has, the, this is an original handling globe that it has too. The Mopac globe is an original handling globe. Now if my video camera will come out. There. Uh, it is an original handling globe, but it's marked handling, handling, uh, Number six on here. Apparently, number six is a globe size. I'm not quite sure. I'm not familiar with hand lantern as much as, as you can see the Mopac. It is marked Mopac on the side, which I find that kind of different because usually they're centered on. It is. Uh, it's also made by a, comp a glass company I have not mentioned yet, and that is their logo. It is made by the Cop Glass Company. K O P P. Uh, that's how you spell their cop. And. Uh, as big of a company as Corning was, but Corning was more involved in it. Uh, this lantern fount pops right out, as you can see, it's in good shape. Has the handle and burner in it. Lantern, rest of the lantern frame's in good condition. No problems with it there. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's like I said, though, it's my first handling lantern. I hope to obtain more as time goes on. But, uh,. For now, this is my first and only one, and right now down on my shelf, it looks quite, it stands out quite a bit because it is such a light colored lantern. That's kind of why we've been trying to obtain a night watch for a while, because we have everything the same color. So we're trying to mix things up a little bit. I oh got my lid close there. Oh, she does rub on the handle a little bit over here. The bale is stationary. It's not meant to really move. I mean, it can. But it's not really supposed to. Uh, here's the clip on the side. You can bend the handle out and it will turn, but but uh, like I said, it's not really made to. So just a little update on it. Not really much about this. Nothing really special about this lantern because I'm not really familiar with handling lanterns. But otherwise, pretty cool lantern. It actually has been listed on there a couple times when we finally bought it for quite a good amount of money. But it's Mark Mopac from Missouri Pacific. So. Uh, just a different lantern to finally, just different lantern company to talk about. I hope I could possibly get more handlings as time goes on. Because they seem to be a pretty good lantern company. This first lantern has made a pretty good impression on me about thinking about how handlings are, so. Uh, what the heck happened here? Uh, okay, so. That's just all on this little lantern here. I have another one coming up that was actually unplanned, that was not planned, so. I think you'll find that pretty interesting. 1223, out.